Good morning, students. Myself, Dr. Kamal Khan Joshi, and in this lecture, lecture one, we will discuss about the environment and the ecology. So let's start the topic. The basic definition of environment and the terminology of the ecology. You know, the environment is a very common or a very well known. Or a very popular popular name in the world, and we are very much aware about this terminology. But due to our busy schedule, we are degrading. We we are disturbing our environment by the different manners or the different activities. So here a question is arise that what is the meaning of environment? what is our environment so different books different scientists and different expert have mentioned the different definition and they define is different manners its environment here we can see the environment protection act indian environmental protection act in 1986 is mentioned the term environment it as the environment as a sum total of water air and land their inter relationship among themselves and the human being other living beings property so this one is our environment so here you can see that this one is uh, you can see the the environment is the combination of like sum of water air and lands and their relationship with the human being this is our environment but if you see around us so you can see there are two different things are available which creates our environment so these two things are first one is the living things second one is the non living things so you can define the environment it as like the the biotic and abiotic things which creates our own environment you can understand if Uh, through this example suppose you are sitting in a classroom so classroom structure this is a concrete structure this one is your frame and in this frame in this classroom you are sitting with your friends also with your your new colleagues also so these are the living things your faculty is also living things and the sunlight like the electric light fan like duster like marker at white board and Uh, you are sitting table chairs also so these are the abiotic components so in a classroom is your environment which creates which developed by the combination of biotic and abiotic things if you are alone in this classroom so it is not considered as a classroom okay so so this one is a uh, example of classroom environment similarly as if you are in a playground so playground uh, is is your own environment and you can see in the playground like the biotic and abiotic components like the biotic components like the plants animals insects butterfly birds these are the biotic component and your, your your colleagues also these are the biotic components and the abiotic components like the sunlight wind wind velocity also moisture and these are the non living things so outside the classroom in a playground playground is your own uh, second environment so which creates which developed by the combination of biotic and abiotic things i hope now with this example uh, this example are suitable to understand that un the meaning of environment now uh, we in this slide we will try to understand the relationship with the environment and the other component like the ecology and the ecosystem here in this picture you can see that this one is our environment the huge sphere is indicating our environment so if uh, uh, this environment if we if we divide this environment uh, basically this environment is consists with the biotic and abiotic components if we divide this uh, if we study in the some part of this environment in a small sphere so this one is known as the ecology why i am saying this ecology because the ecology is the relationship which is a part of environment and the ecology is the study of environment which indicates the relationship between the biotic and abiotic things 
so the ecology is the part of environments that's why we can mention here is like a small sphere under this environment similarly as the small sphere under the ecology and environment is known as the ecosystem here you can see that the ecosystem sphere uh, uh, circle is, is small as compared to ecology and the environment so we can say that the ecosystem is the basic unit of the ecology and the environment so if we disturb the ecosystem obviously we can disturb the we, the, dis, uh, the ecology will disturb and the complete environment may be disturbed as we know in the previous slide we have understand that the environment is created by the presence of biotic and abiotic components so the biotic and abiotic components will continue attached with the environment ecology and the ecosystem also like this the figure is indicating like the biotic components are attached with the ecosystem ecology and the environment biotic component also same attached with the ecology environment and ecosystem the ecosystem is the basic unit of this environment so any changes in the ecosystem they directly influence our environment so the, if we uh, now we can define differently like the ecology and ecosystem also ecology is a branch of science which indicate the relationship between the biotic and abiotic things similarly the ecosystem ecosystem is a basic unit of environment which indicate the relationship between the biotic and abiotic things in a habitat now i have mentioned a term is the habitat habitat is the place where the particular species are present or exist so this one is known as the ecosystem uh, habitat so ecosystem ki study particular habitat mein ki jati hai now in the next slide we can understand the definition of ecology you know the, the meaning of ecology can be derived by the okios means the household and the logos means the study so ecology if you define it as so you can say the study of house like the ecology is the study of life at home similarly the word ecology has been introduced by the german biologist ernst haeckel in 1869 and define it as like the study of the natural environment including the relations of organisms to the one another and to their surrounding in simple terms you can say if we are organisms so we are interrelated with our abiotic components suppose human beings are directly influenced by the heavy winds it also influenced by the temperature it also influenced by the humidity moisture etc so these the humidity moisture rainfall temperature these are the abiotic things so the relationship between the human and their abiotic components so these studies surrounding is known as the ecology simply you can define the relationship between the living organisms and their environment is called the ecology now the types of ecology here you can see a flow chart chart which indicates like the ecology can be defined into two types like the auto ecology and the sino ecology so the auto ecology means when we study about a particular species or a uh, any species the relationship between their surrounding environment is known as the autoecology jab hum kisi ek species ka uske environment uske biotic component ke sath jab relationship ko study karte hain this one is the autoecology usko bolte hain autoecology so the autoecology relationship ho jata hai second one is known as the synoecology synoecology is indicate like the group of species the relationship between the group of species with their environment with their abiotic components is known as the synoecology so on the basis of this groups you can divide into three different types first one is the population ecology second one is the community ecology and third one is the ecosystem ecology you know <coughs> the 
I will explain it separately population ecology, community ecology and the ecosystem ecology. First you can see here the meaning of auto ecology. The interaction of individuals of species with their environment for example to understand the adaptation and distribution of individual species in high altitude with respect to the environment. For example, like the temperature, pressure and the oxygen. So this one is known as the autoecology. Second, the synecology it indicates as I have already said that the interaction of group of organisms. The interaction of group of organisms with their environment. An example of synecology is the side effects of water pollution into a lake ecosystem. Because the lake ecosystem, lake, lake is a habitat of different various species like fish are available here, like the aquatic plants are available. So these are the group of organisms and their surrounding atmosphere in the environment. So surrounding environment is a, a water and dissolved oxygen in this water. But sometimes due to the pollution, they directly influence this community the plants and animals also fish and animals aquatic plants also so this one interaction is known as the sino ecology now as i have said that the population ecology we will discuss separately so in this slide you can see the population ecology it indicate the group of individuals of the same species in a habitat is called the population and the interaction of population with their environment is known as the population ecology. So first we have to understand the meaning of population. What is the meaning of population? So same species, number of individuals, a group of individuals of a same species is known as the population. Second, the community ecology and the word, the meaning of community. Community means like the different group of species. For example, like the plant and animals inhabiting a natural area is known as a community of on earth so plant and animal these are the two different communities so the relationship the with their environment of these communities is known as the community ecology the community ecology deals with the group of different kinds of population in a habitat for example in agriculture agriculture is a habitat and the agriculture land is a habitat of different crops insects also then the rat also rabbits also snakes also these are the biotic components of, uh, in a agricultural land so the rabbit population the rat population insects population and the crop particular crop population number of individuals so these species are indicating the different different communities so each community is a different group of communities interaction with their environment is known as the community ecology and next one is the ecosystem ecology an ecosystem is a community of living things and their interaction with their natural environment so the ecosystem as i have already said that ecosystem is a group of biotic and abiotic components the relationship between them interaction with their environment like the abiotic components and the biotic components is known as the ecosystem ecology for example forest has many minor communities forest as a habitat and it have some minor communities like uh, communities like the plants and animals and these minor communities which are related which are uh, depends on the forest they have uh, some they they are interact with their complex environment like sunlight temperature humidity rainfall etc so these interaction is comes under the ecosystem ecology so these three different subtypes which comes under the cyanoecology and cyanoecology is, is, is indicates like the group of biotic things uh, group of species intact with their environment is known as the cyanoecology now uh, we can understand uh, 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 these uh, terms like the population ecology like the community ecology and the ecosystem ecology through this figure also here you can see uh, this one is the individual deer so deer is are 
is organism here is a counting is a individual so uh, so this one is a, a single species so if a single species individuals interact with their environment is known as the auto economy here you can see this one is the population population is indicate like the group of uh, sorry the individual of same species here you can see the same species like the deers and their the number of individuals they are counting one to six individuals deers are indicating this one is the population of deer you can say this one is the population of deer so group of individual is known as the population and interaction with their group of individual with their environment is known as the population ecology here you can see the variety of species and their individuals so this one is indicating like the community so the variety of species with their individual and interact with their environment is known as the community ecology here you can see uh, this look like as a forest structure and the forest structure have a different animals here also these are these birds they are the elephant and deer also so habitat forest is a habitat or uh, in this habitat you can see the variety of living organisms like the variety of communities so forest is indicating the ecosystem and this ecosystem have a living uh, a different variety of species so the interaction of this species with their environment is the forest environment is known as the ecosystem ecology so this one is the ecosystem ecology i hope with this figure you can easily understand the terminology like the ecology and the environment and the ecology and the types of ecology now thank you now thank you very much we will continue in next lecture and we will come in next lecture with the next topic of the syllabus thank you very much